Hello. This is a little uh, discussion on something that I feel like I definitely need to uh, uh, explain. There's a lot of material out there about uh, autism spectrum disorders and uh, even uh, high functioning uh, autism or Asperger's syndrome. There are only three areas that can be reliably um, uh, dis uh, determinative to have those disorders. And they are very hard to detect without seeing outward uh, actions and uh, context. One is a is a common case of social anxiety. Now this is brought because of a common theme of social disconnect based upon inability to judge body language voice, uh, tone, and expression, along with uh, a tough time, a, a lot of times there's a tough time with uh, sarcasm and jokes. Now, social anxiety appears when all these uh, really heavily, a lot of times when these things are challenging and have a lot of things uh, that you have to overcome in a given notice. But those outward things are not determinative. They are ways of being able to see this inner turmoil of social anxiety. Two is something that I'm going to say that um, may may think uh, is a little uh, out there, but um, it is. It is the inability to uh, drown out unnecessary sounds or stimuli. Most ASD uh, individuals will have some difficulty with that. That can lead to um, Cases of like emotional meltdowns because you get overloaded with these. So I'm going to say that 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 is a very common theme in autism spectrum uh, disorders. Now the third one. is somewhat related to the first and the second, yet not related at all. It's kind of a paradoxical situation. It affects your social interaction. It affects your stimuli. It is part of the stimuli situation. But there's a lot of times there is a limit to physical contact that an ASD per, uh, person can tolerate physically. Now, I'm not going to go on on that one. I just realized I actually had four. Uh, there is a very common occurrence in ASD. Uh, 
uh, individuals to have a, a somewhat of a tunnel vision or fascination with certain subjects borderlining on fixation and so and to be honest with you, I'm going to say this this nonsense of literal language when it comes from learning subjects is very mer much more common